Hey, it's Matt from My Precision Ag here. I just want to make a quick operational video on the Agtron Legend Advanced app. I've had a lot of questions about this lately, so I figured I'll make a quick video about what the app looks like and what to look for on it and what everything on the run screen actually means. So we're running in demo mode on the app right now, and this app is capable of running three air kits. So right now we've got Air kit number one, this is our seed air kit in this example. It's got 60 seed sensors, 10, 10 sensors per manifold, and we got six manifolds. And then this middle bar is our fertilizer air kit. We've got 60 sensors once again on six manifolds, 10 sensors per. If we had a triple shoot unit, we'd have another uh, another bar at the bottom, but this this, this system is only a double shoot system. So every one of these rectangles is a sensor. They're all green right now, so there's no plugs. Everything's seeding great. It's happy. If you did have a plugged run, one of them would turn red. It would look like that, and then you'd get a red alarm at the bottom saying, hey, this is plugged, and it'll give you the sensor number, and then you can go back and check and see if your run's plugged and clean it out. These numbers that are above each manifold, that's your flow variance per section. So if one of those numbers is way out from the other one, so say if one all of a sudden said minus 20%, that sensor's get, or that section is getting 20% less product than the other ones. So you should check, like say maybe you got a primary hose that has a hole in it or the hose popped off partially or something on the tank is plugged off for that run and you'll know to go check that and you'll catch a lot of stuff that happens fairly quickly just off that number alone if you tap on one of the manifolds so on this we'll just tap on this section here it brings you into this page and it shows the flow variance per sensor individually. So these numbers should still read fairly close around zero just to show that you're getting even distribution across each tower individually as well. It shows other stuff like the serial number of the sensor. It shows the seed count. It shows the seeds per second, voltage and all that kind of stuff, the temperature. It's a diagnostic thing. So... These numbers across the top, specifically 180 and 250 on this example. So the 180 signifies we're seeding at 180 pounds per acre. But we have to tell the system that. So what you do is you go and you seed at 180 pounds if you're seeding at that. And what you'll do is you'll come to the bottom here where this wizard hat with the number one is. You'll touch on that, and it'll bring you up the seed rate wizard. So if you're seeding at 180, you tell it you're seeding 180 right now, and hit OK, so it knows what 180 pounds per acre looks like. If that number starts dropping off for any reason, say if you had starter fertilizer mixed in with your seed, coming out of two different tanks into that same airstream, and that number dropped off by the rate that you're putting down for starter, you know your, your tank's probably bridging or you've got an issue with that meter or something's plugged just for that one tank individually. If you're putting down canola with it and it drops off by your canola rate all of a sudden, that can tell you that you are not getting canola to, your, to the drill through your boots. So... It's a very handy number and it, and it's very accurate and I've had good luck with guys catching some tank bridging issues and other issues with that alone. The other number that you got to calibrate are these numbers right here. So these are your sensitivities. They're going to vary depending on your rate, depending on your product, but there's a nice wizard to calibrate them. So to calibrate them, all you got to do is seat along like you normally do. In this case, we'll touch the number one where it says 60. And then it says edit sensitivity or select wizard. So in this case, we're going to hit wizard. 
it'll automatically put that to the best number for what you're seating at. You can manually adjust it if you want. Some guys like to just do it manual, but I normally just use the wizard and, and it's been pretty good. So another thing, if you're going to only seed, say you just want to put down seed with no fertilizer and you're not going to use one of your air kits. Well, if you ran it like this, the way it is right now, this entire air kit would think it's plugged because you're not seeding with it. So the way to disable that, all you got to do is where the sensitivity is for the second air kit. You'll touch on that 60. If you set that number to zero and hit update, that air kit disappears. So it's not looking for any of those sensors anymore. It's just looking at the seed sensors. So if you're doing something like peas, for example, and you're just putting down seed, then you can go seed away and it's not going to alarm you saying, hey, all your fertilizer runs are plugged. And then when you get back to putting down fertilizer again, you'll come back where now it says off. You'll touch on that. As long as this number that you put in here is above zero, it'll read. And if it's set for zero, it's off. I'll put it back to 60 like it was before though. At the bottom here, this clock symbol shows the history of your plugs and you've got loop one two and three and it shows any plugs throughout the history and it updates every minute so right now we've never had a plug on this system it's been perfect it's green everywhere but if you had one you could go back and look and see hey we had this plug here a few minutes ago or it flashed up or this one keeps flashing up maybe we, there's something going on with it and go look at it If you have sectional control and your manifold starts shutting off on your headlands, so say this manifold here shuts off, it would gray that manifold out and kind of ghost it to the background instead of actually turning red and saying, hey, it's plugged. If you're tied into the sectional control, it's smart enough to know that, hey, this is shut off and it's not plugged. It's actually shut off because it's supposed to be. It's also a good tool to make sure that your sections are plumbed correctly for your sectional control. I've had customers catch this before where, hey, number one is saying it's off, but number six over here is the one that is graying out. So they're plumbed backwards. So they, I've had guys catch that and it saved a lot of headaches. As far as operation goes, that's really all there is to it. On the bottom, this here, for example, if you go to that, if you, you can actually have pressure sensors installed with this kit. So if you have these pressure sensors installed, if you leave a tank lid open or your tank seal goes out and you don't have enough air pressure in your actual air tank it'll alarm you on the monitor and say that you don't have enough air pressure go check it out which is a nice option as well 